and welcome back everyone where we last left off was a uh, very interesting conversation between the group and the Thane Hjalmar about Bryn possibly giving up her powers um, but ultimately she said no sir and he said well I'm gonna have him anyway so what a dick what a dick <laughs> I Funny know, thing right? is, if he'd have said okay, I'd have given them to him after all. So, um, for those of you, make sure that you are logged in um, because you're going to need a map. And for those of you at home... Oh, oh did idle. Is this the map you built, Max? Yes. Ooh. That's awesome. Um, I used a uh, Game Master Engine. And also, if you like this map, I'm just going to put it in my Discord later. So if you want it to use it on your own, then you can just have it for free. Dang, Dude, that yeah. smoke just make maps all the time. It should have been for patrons. That's awesome. Max, y'all get a freebie because he doesn't hey, know what first, he's doing. First one's free. <laughs> <laughs> you, should do, you should do map making streams. Look at this. Ooh. Oh my God, you yeah, should. That's, that's a good idea. How People probably love that. There's even that's the good. runes that he mentioned over here on the Wait, where? Yeah. Down on the bottom. <gasps> oh Whoa. shit, don't stand over there, y'all. Um, don't lose your powers. I actually made those two and they actually mean something. I'll tell y'all about it later. So. Did uh, Bryn get the wand thingy? Um, Ron currently has Ron it. Ron has it. Okay. So Ron is allowed to do something with it. If with you that being said, um, I would like for you all to roll some initiatives. And I think I need to get some battle music in here because things are about to heat up. So let's do it. Um, Bryn. Oh, this is a perfect one to come up. Wow. How did I that work out? I don't know if that's good. That sounds bad. Um, it's the battle music is called Vikings. So, oh, OK, <laughs> nice. that's very good then. <laughs> um, Bryn, what's your initiative? Oh, oh, God, this is all happening way too fast. Uh, 14. I'm sorry, 13. Oop, 13, that's important. Ron. 17. 17. Sargento. I got a whopping six. Falcon. I'm only slightly faster than you with a seven. Seven. And that's because I'm grabbing as many things and stuffing my face before we go. <laughs> <laughs> Car load. You're like, oh, here, here we go again. Just like shove some honey cakes in your mouth. Mm -hmm. um, Vin. I too got a seven. <laughs> you too got a seven. Okay, well, um, let us begin. The Thane has an impressive 22 on his initiative. He oh, I she he was leaving. grabs his great axe um, at his side and stands up and yells, Shield! And you see the doors bust open with a lot more friends here to play. I'm so excited for Vin Possibly right now. Possibly more. <clears throat> Ooh, is there a lot of people? Huh? Um, so the Thane yells shield wall and he is going to go over to Bryn. Oh, damn, he rolled high. He sure did. You know what? Fuck it. He's jumping on the table and coming oh after you. That's my thing. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he runs and gets up out of his I chair, <laughs> leaps up on the table, and then comes <laughs> down on you with this great axe. Or sorry, a uh, not great axe. I misspoke. It is a... Um... What's the other one? God, battle axe. Mole? Thank you, brain. Oh. <laughs> My brain could not rationalize the right word. All right. And he's going to swing at you, Bryn. Hmm? He's going to swing at you. Hmm. Um, first attack is a 15 to hit. You'll miss. Second attack. Is a 21. That will hit. You take 12 um, 
piercing damage. Uh, Non-lethal. Also, as a quick point, in case in point, um, let me know if what you're doing is lethal or non-lethal. I'll, I'll let you know if you if you drop someone. Um, melee attacks can be non-lethal, um, but range attacks and spells, you're going to have some problems. So. Oh, I'm kill it. That's what we're doing. <laughs> I have no illusions. <clears throat> Y'all can work that out. Um, and the Thane's third attack. Whoa. Third attack? Holy Wait, who all is he? Um, oh, he gets shit. a 19. <laughs> a 19, that's my AC. And he hits you with his shield, bashes you oh, across the face. That's my thing! This fucker! <laughs> for seven bludgeoning damage, and please make a strength saving throw. You said seven? Yep. He's stealing everyone's gimmicks. Strength saving <clears throat> throw. I'm good at those at least. Come on. Like, hey, oh hey, no, that wasn't good. Style. Eleven. You were knocked prone out of your chair. Cool. That's he great. jumps over the That's table, fine. swipes at you, and just knocks you over out of your chair with his axe. Um, up next is this gentleman, and he comes in. Um, he has a great axe, if I get my terminology correct here. Um, and he just goes. And just runs as fast as he can. Over to you. Just frothing at the mouth, ready to just slam that great axe into you, Sargento. Come at me, motherfucker. Um, up next is next berserker. And he is gonna do the same. Um, but he is going to run over to right here. Oh man, everyone getting up on tables, Valkan. Mm -hmm. mm. It's 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 on at this point. Ron. <laughs> Ron is going to. Can I help out, Bryn? Yep, it would take your action, but you can pick her. You're just like grappling her and picking her Does up. Does Ron have the, the the rod of power? Whatever it the is. The rod of, of, yeah, he does have it. Um, I was curious where that ended up. For, yeah, you, oh. you have it. Um, yes. It is a rod of rulership, and it yes. does require attunement. Oh, well. Oh, it does? <laughs> I knew that God, you realized maybe. that, Zach, at some point after you passed it, because I saw the look on your face, but... Yeah. Uh, it happens. Ron doesn't know what to do with stick. Uh, so Ron's gonna place it on the table because he doesn't know what to do with it. <laughs> <laughs> and he's gonna, uh, Ron's gonna touch Bryn and cast so Warding Bond. Okay. Ooh, so, what's that? So Bryn, you will have plus one AC and plus one to saving throws, and uh, you are resistant to all damage. And I uh, take your damage. Oh. oh my yep. God. So you all share damage, You're essentially. Yeah, we're sharing damage. And that is Do I take damage if he gets hit? No, mm -hmm. it's uh, one way only. So if you take if you get take damage and I take the damage as well. It says willing creature. Yes. Um, can I, but I know what he's, I don't think I know, he's never cast this before, so I don't think I know what he's doing. So I'm going to let it happen. But it's up to you all. It does you, seem you've been for a long so. time together, so. Yeah, but he's never I've, used this I've, before. I've used it on uh, Valkan once. Oh, you have? Yeah. Okay. It's just, you, we, we both take half damage when you get hit. Okay, okay, I'll let it happen. I'm not happy about it, though. And then I'll move, uh, I'll move, oh, there we go. I'll move uh, in front of the, the Thane. Okay. Let's see. Um, up next, the shield guard. He is going to 
move up. What's his movements? Dash over here, over to Vin, and that's all he's gonna do. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Sylvie gets up from the table and then moves to the corner of the room. I forgot about her. Is she doing something? Like, is she moving with intent? Going to the room. Hmm? She moves hiding? with okay. intent and, and looks over to the um, and is, looks like to be preparing something and is waiting for. Uh, something else to happen. Um, this warrior here. Is going to move. Into. The cluster. Oh, good. And Bryn, it is now your turn. Unprone myself. Just half your movement to stand. Yep. <clears throat> and then I'm going to yell to the room. We do not want to fight. We do not want to hurt anyone here. Vin, we don't want to hurt them. <laughs> I look over at Brent and I'm like, and I have like fire ready to go and I like put it out. <laughs> and then I'll turn back to uh, the Thane. Please do not do this. This is not what you want. And I think I used my whole turn to talk and move. Essentially, I don't know if I can do an action. You I'm have forced to my hand. Convince him not to. If you want to try and convince him. Um, yeah. Like, you're not sure that like using a persuasion role would would assuage the situation right now because you've had plenty of talking before. It would take yeah. some sort of, of action or something that he would want for this to stop. Okay, well then never mind. I'm just gonna yell to everybody not to kill anyone, and then I'm going to do a non-lethal. This sucks. This sucks because if we win, we lose. <clears throat> Why do we win? We lose. Because if I kill him, they might make me stay anyways. No. I would like to. I would like, like to pull out my. Not my javelin. I will pull out my hand axe. OK. My shield. Mm hmm. Do I still have an action? Yeah. OK. And then I will hit him with my hand axe. All right. Go for it. Non lethal. Uh, natural one is not going to hit. Okay. He parries it out of the way with his shield. But I will use my shield and try to shove him. I'm okay. Shove him off the table. Go for it. It's an opposed strength. Athletics. <clears throat> Six. And a 17. So you shove and he pull. He sees what you're doing um, because it's not too far out of their own possibility that you all were probably trained in the same fighting style. You know, you're doing the same stuff. He sees what you're doing. And he puts his shield up and braces himself and you shove and he goes back but then stands firm. Um, and you still have your other attack as well. I'll attack him again. Non-lethal. <clears throat> A natural 20. Okay. All those low numbers paid <laughs> off. Go so for it's it. not lethal though, but I don't it's think this not. is going to kill him anyways. Which is, let me know what your damage is. The important part is I know what your intent is because it'll matter whenever they go down to zero, whether you kill them or knock them out. 13 damage. 13. Okay. And then I'm going to action search. And I'm going to attack him again. OK. Go for it. 22. 
Um, let's see. Yep, that hits. Four more damage. Four? Mm hmm. And then I'm oh. going to shove him again. You don't get another bonus, but it. you could use your other attack action to shove him. Yes, I'll do that. Okay. I'll do that. I can do that. Yeah, I'll do that. I think that works I'm that shove way. Shove him off the table. Bad manners. Mm, nine. He rolled a natural 20 for a total of 30. Wow, so you just fell can't, off. You just can't shove him right now. He's too firmly planted, yeah. even though it looks in a precarious position. When he landed, he firmly planted his feet and kind of knew what he was doing here um, and is, is holding firm. So you're not able to shove him. Um, That's my turn. Up next is Gerd, and, and she she looks to see what's going on. She looks at the party. She's her eyes are wide. She looks at Vin fighting or sorry, Bryn fighting the Thane. And she looks over at the um, at the seer and the fears like staring at her like with intent. Um, and for now, she is going to run <clears throat> over to this symbol on the ground and start following suit. <laughs> I knew that was going to happen. She's conflicted. You know, you can see that. Uh, okay. Up next, this guard is going to move forward here. And is going to just do that. Falcon. <clears throat> okay. First of all, I'm upset. And ruin your honey cake dinner. You're stepping on my cakes, <laughs> assholes. <laughs> and I'm gonna jump up on the table. Where? Uh, yeah. Can I like? Is there not? A, uh, is it like a, not a wide table or? Well, if you, you jump on just, one of them that's on the table, you can just jump out on the table where you're at because your your square is kind of in and out. So you can just jump up where you're at if you want. That's fine. We'll say I've jumped up right on in front of where I was sitting. Okay. So now I'm just like right in front of him. Yep. I'm just like, you don't get the ruin. Good honey cakes. And I'm just going to throw <laughs> an attack um, at the, what is this guy here? Berserker right in front of me. I'm going to throw an attack at him. Okay. Um, I, did I? Did I notice Bryn like holding back and not using like lethal force? What I know, she in this yelled, moment. "Don't kill them!" I yelled not to kill them. Okay, and the yeah, same yell. I'm laser focused on the honey cake. So. <laughs> and, <laughs> and the same yell, the same her. for his side too. And don't kill them. You can ignore me. Alive. You don't have to do what I said. It's up to you guys. Okay, well, we'll say I I took that into account, and I'm just gonna <laughs> use straight up fists. Yep. Okay, you're, you can attack non-lethally with your sword and just declare it. It's silly that you can do that, but it's the rules and you can say it's non-lethal. Okay. But if yeah, you want to punch we'll him, you can punch I'm him. I'm using the back side of my sword. The right. whole flat end of it, just give him a slap. I'm going to do that. Uh, that's 18 on the dice. That hits. Okay. Cool. Damn it. Not good damage. Six on that. Okay. And, and then, you just hit him across the his his bare chest with he's got like a, a fur of a bear and like a cloak and he just takes it and just looks at you. You know that that's supposed to hurt, right? And I'm gonna throw another <laughs> back up. <laughs> Go for it. They've got all sorts of war paints on them. That's a no, that's a nat one on that one. And misses. Um, okay, I'm <laughs> I I will spend a key point to to do patient defense then since I'm now standing in front of two guys that don't seem to be feeling pain or something. Okay. It's like <laughs> All right. Um Vin. Um so I have a question, actually. Is sure. disengage like if I walk away, they'll get attack of opportunity on me. One of them will. Mm -hmm. Um. 
but it, so if I walk away and they get an attack of opportunity, I can still use a big spell or can yeah. I disengage and use a big spell? You can't disengage and you would have to walk away, take the hit and then do your spell. Okay. I will do that then. I will take the hit. Okay. But hey, in, in classic uh, Maximus fashion, I, I totally forgot a, a big thing that was, or a whole thing some of these guys can do. So uh -oh. first round's free. Uh -oh. <laughs> but uh -oh. um, <clears throat> with this, um, I'm going to use Gift of the Gem, Gem Dragon as he hits me. Okay. If, so if you're gonna, are you going to back up? Um, tell me which square you're backing into, or you can just move there because this one's um, going to strike at you. I'll probably, hold on. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, upper, uh, I'll go here. Yep, and he's going to strike you with his, um, with an axe as well, uh, battle okay. axe, and he hits you with a, an 18. Okay. I'm and... going to do, oh. Go ahead. So Oops. I'm going to do my gift of the gem dragon, which means mm -hmm. when you take damage from a creature within 10 feet of you, you can use a reaction to force the creature to make a strength saving throw. On a failure, the target takes 2d8 force damage and is pushed Ooh. away 10 feet from me. Okay, so you took three cool. slashing damage. They're gonna make their strength check. Um, oh man. Uh, natural 20, 22. Fruit. Darn oh, it. My one Am I even using the DM dice? Cool. Does okay. anything happen on a save? Um. On a success, the target takes half as much damage and is not pushed. So, so I roll can your... still do 2d8. What does this look like? Um, it looks like um, lightning kind of like strikes the ground where I was and then I like go somewhere else. So I'm like somewhere else and then like wind would push him but like he's just like like his hair just kind of blows and he just kind of blinks he's, he's got a friend behind him that kind of holds him in place <laughs> yeah and he'll take four five six seven okay or half as much wait what is it the target takes half as much damage and is not pushed so four so five six three yeah gotcha okay and then um oh yeah and then i go i stick my tongue out and go <laughs> towards him <laughs> um and then for my big bell, I look at Bryn and kind of like, but I want to hurt him. Um, I say not to hurt them. I said not to kill them. I don't know how squishy these people are. Um, you use your best judgment. So Joe will not be mad at you. Bun will not be mad at you. Bryn might be I mad. I will make a... Um, Wall of fire. Mm. Oh, shit. Diagonally nice. across the other rune. So the what I'm assuming is Gothi is going to go to that third rune to make it so nobody can go to that rune. Okay. And it will <clears throat> the damage will be on the rune side. Gotcha. Not the other side. So I'm not hurting anybody. I'm just preventing people from moving. Where so, I, think they want um, to I can try and draw what you're talking about here. Like a diagonal line. From where you are. Um, well, okay. um, I don't think it's from me. Is it from me? No, it's not. How long is it? Uh, 120 feet. Holy. That's how far you can cast it. <laughs> oh, it is 60 feet long, 20 feet high, and a okay. foot thick. So, are you wanting something like like this no um, okay. um the other direction yeah. um from this little doohickey uh -huh. to this little doohickey gotcha Oops. so it, if it's too big like it could go into the walls like yeah part of this place you just fire. always move it back a little bit and then does it's... it set things on fire I mean, it's fire. I don't it's know. It's wall fire, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Good times. Bonfire I mean, if we're time. going with those rules, and technically all my spells should have been yeah. fire. But... <laughs> this is very true. <laughs> this is very true. <laughs> yeah. It doesn't specifically say, but we can do all that later. And it's towards the um, left, right? 
yeah is the, the hot damage side is gonna be on yeah the hot side is on the left and i look at brin and i just kind of like have puppy dog eyes like come on <laughs> <laughs> i'm just gonna do that for my own edification okay a big wall of fire hurls up uh to the ceiling um and just starts burning the other side and it's just you can't see through it it's opaque and it is scary as fuck up next is the gothi um let's see They are going to move up to it. Come on, little guy. He's going to move here. And is just trying to look and he's like, I can't get through it. Um, Cause it will probably be a real bad time if they did that. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. <clears throat> Sargento. All right. First things first, uh, anybody looking at Sargento, like I start breathing real heavy. You see the mustache twitch a little bit and I'm going to go into a rage. All right. And yes, this is exactly what I wanted to happen. Okay. So on the wild magic table, mm -hmm. uh, I rolled a two. So uh -huh. anybody looking at me just sees the mustache tremble. Then I fucking disappear. And eh. I'm going uh, to come right over here. <laughs> Okay. I'm a teleport. It's within 30 feet of me, right to where the uh, right to where Ron put the uh, rod on the table. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And I'm gonna grab it, and I'm gonna slam it on the ground. And anybody that's within 120 feet of me, which by my math is everybody in the room, besides uh -huh. allies, uh, has got to make a wisdom saving throw. Yes. Okay. Dang. Let's see. This is. Amazing. So this all of so it. So clutch. No, no, no. Allies. No, not you. Yeah, we're friends. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, you missed it. He controlled a Jedi. Or a Jedi. are you our friend? <laughs> the, <laughs> Hell of a turn, um, wouldn't it? The Thane succeeds. We'll do this guy next. Damn it. Um, what's your DC, by the way? 15. A 15? Mm -hmm. This one fails. This guy. Succeeds this one, man. Everyone's making their saves. Succeeds <laughs> this one, fails. This is not fair. This should have worked on every one of these stupid fuckers. This one, the fact that they're listening to him means they're stupid Succeeds. by default. This one, fails. This one, fails. This one, fails. All right, now we're cooking with gas. This one succeeds. This one succeeds. And let me check their bonus. Succeeds. So many rolls. So many. So you dudes. got one, two, three, four, five of them. That ain't half bad. All right. <laughs> how, how many words can I say as a free action? Is it six? I mean, or is it within reason. <clears throat> All right. So um, I'm just going to say, I'm just going to say, get them the fuck out of them runes. <clears throat> and that's the end of my turn. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Let's see. This one is going to look and is going to move this direction. Try and get them out of there. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, this one. Fantastic. Is going to move. Try and do the same. <clears throat> And this one. Look 
Same. <clears throat> All right. Top of the round. Uh, the Thane sees uh, you all uh, around him and just looks to, to you, Ron, and to you, Bryn. And he looks just hyper fixated on Bryn because he needs her power at this point. So he's going to attack her again. Natural 20. Shit. These are the these are the caches and catchers dice. These aren't the GM dice. <laughs> okay. Um You take 24. Oh my. Is that halved? The top piercing damage. Halved between both of you. So that's 14. Oh, Ron. <laughs> It's okay. It's so we each 14. take 14? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good. This, that was the plan. This is the plan. I don't like this plan. He's going to do another attack. All right. If he hits like that each time, we're fine. Um, Let me second kill attack. We won't be. Uh, actually, <laughs> he's going to use a second attack um, to shield bash you again, Bren. And gets... A, is there anything I can do about that? His is an ability where he has to hit you, does damage, and then you make a saving throw. So it's he hits you. It's the same as mine, right? Uh, no, it's different. Oh. It is a 24 to hit. So you take... Nine damage, and then make a strength saving throw. <laughs> Sixteen. A sixteen? You pass. He shoves you and, you and you topple, but you stay on your feet. And he goes, he looks at you and then just hits you again with the ax. Uh, but misses with an 11 as you block it with your shield. Hmm? My shield oh. looks cooler than his shield, I'm just saying. <clears throat> yeah, we killed the dragon. Yeah. This one. Gesundheit. <laughs> Sorry, I love it. Is... <laughs> Sargento, this is no time to be sneezing. Get it together. Well, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. He, Sargento <laughs> is gone, so he looks for someone else to fight. Sargento is holding up a middle finger. And <laughs> goes over to... Man, my clicking is not clicking today. Yeah, it was a little funky to, for me today as well. There we go. Just had, to, just had to walk it in. All right. He one runs over to you, uh, Vin, and has his great axe overhead um, and is going to strike you with it. <clears throat> mm -hmm. And he is going to attack recklessly. Um, so even with advantage, he only gets a nine um, at you. So he misses you. Like, okay, nice. Wait, can I... Can I use actually? So I'm I'm not taking any damage at all. Nope, he missed you. Okay. I get to use that thing three times. Mm -hmm. right? And he this missed. one, you've <laughs> commanded to get them away um, from that. So he will. Move here try and rush over there. All right. Sorry, I'm looking, looking up DM stuff. Um, Ron, you were next. All right. Ron with the all the might in his bones <clears throat> gonna swing his hammer at the at the thing what's going on stay away from Bryn. uh let's see my plus uh is a 20 hit a 20 does hit uh yep get him run Alrighty. ron does nine damage nine damage it's gonna swing again. All right. Okay. Uh, Twenty-one. Ron's gonna smite Hits. this time. Okay. 
Oh yeah. Uh, uh, 23, 28 damage. 28 damage. All right. Definitely put a hurt on him. And that's all Ron can do. Gotcha. Uh, up next is going to be this guard. And he is going to move nowhere. He's going to um, attack the Valken. Uh, first one. Let's see. Actually, only one is a 10 to hit. So he misses you. I wait. I think I can do a thing off this. He also um, uh, it was also disadvantage, so I can do a thing when somebody misses me with an attack. Okay. It was a melee attack, right? Yes. Um. Oh, what is it? Hmm. It's tipsy sway. I've not used this before, but I can spend one key point as a reaction to redirect that attack against uh, a nearby ally of his. Oh, cool. Gotcha. So That's you're going to cool. redirect it. Um, yeah. And does it use the same attack roll? It, all it says is um, when a creature misses you with a melee attack roll, you can spend one key point as a reaction to cause that attack to hit one creature of your choice other than the attacker that you can see within five feet. Let's see. It doesn't say anything about a roll. So it just hits him then. Yeah. Okay, so he hits the guy behind him. That's yeah. Cool. Mm. Oh, let me get my key point so I don't forget. He does four damage to him. Nice. Now I can say I've used it. There you go. You can use it. <laughs> And up next is Sylvie. Oh, oh boy. <clears throat> and I'm not finding the answer here. I'm going to rule it this way for now, and then if it's not how it works, I will figure it out later. Um, but Sylvie Yeah, I don't think that that would work. So um, I was going to say she's going to use the spell magic on the rod, but I don't believe it's actually casting a spell. And you can't dispel magic from an item, so. Let's see. I'm just going to say she's going to use dispel magic on the uh, on the wall of fire for now. So the DC is what was the spell level three? Four. A fourth level. Oh, mm. all righty. And she got a total of 16, which I believe dispels it. So mm. she looks and she casts a spell and then basically rings the wall down and the flames pff, go out. Darn it. Oh, man. I wasted a cool thing, man. You could have used that on them. something it else, though. So now it's no, that was super smart. Bought some time. Mm -hmm. Oh, I have another one. You bought some time. Mm -hmm. Um, and that is gonna be her turn. This warrior is gonna move away from you, Valken. Mm -hmm. 
run this way. <clears throat> and Bryn, your turn. Is that one of the ones that's under my control? Yep. They got the little moon and stars thing. Okay. okay, okay. Um. The guy behind me is not controlled and he's headed towards Vin or he is controlled. No, he's at Vin. He's he's right next to her. He's not mind controlled though. So nope. ask him. Uh, okay. I'm going to Turn and throw my shield using catapult at the guy that's after Ben. Okay. I need to make a deck saving throw. Actually, no, I don't want to do that. Okay. I'm going to move towards him. I'll take the attack of opportunity. All right. The thing. Um, it's a 19. Gracie. That's my AC. It's 20. Warding bond. It is 20, so he misses you. Oh, you're right. <laughs> yes, <laughs> there you go. All right, I'm going to just say, we do not wish to fight you. And then I'm going to turn and be like, leave her alone. And I want to go and I'm going to try to hit that guy with my axe, non lethal. Uh, okay, go for it. It's cocked. 13. A 13 it is what you need to get some berserker. Really? Oh, uh -huh. cool. <clears throat> okay. Then he's going to take seven damage. Okay. And then I want to attempt to push him. Alrighty. Um, and actually, I wanted to be. Nope, this is fine. I'm going to try to push him. Strength of ooh, that's not good. Or athletics of eight. Um, he also rolled an eight, so no. Okay, right, and then I'm him. gonna hit him again. Okay. With, my, with the blunt side of my axe. Or something. Twenty-two. Twenty-two definitely hits. Eight damage. Only. All right. All right, up next is Gerd. Let's see. Gerd looks over at those trying to uh, assail them. Um, their own people seemingly turned against them. And she is going to cast a spell against them, which will get these three, I believe. Yep. And she's going to cast sleep. Oh. Mm. Gerd is Bryn's sister, right? Yes. Let's see. Okay. One of my many sisters. Yes. And, and who she's um, hitting it towards? These three gentlemen. The, the guards, the mind controlled ones, right? Fall asleep. Nice. That works for me. Well, now I'm conflicted. <laughs> now making me burn high level one. spells on stuff. <laughs> How dare <Okay>. you? <laughs> Are they helping us or not? I don't know. <laughs> um, this guard runs over here next to the Thane. 
And is going to swing at you, Ron. Okay. Uh, misses with a seven. Ex excellent. Falcon. Okay. Uh, well, I saw Rin's firewall come down, so that's probably bad. So I'm just gonna real quickly turn to the rest of them and say, you guys handle this over here. I'm going over there and I'm gonna use um, my uh, key point for step of the wind as a bonus action. Okay. To disengage this guy and do... Nice. How far can I? Oh, I can get right there. <clears throat> <laughs> Why do you do this? <laughs> uh, because. Um, anything How else you want to do? You um, if I, I don't think I can do anything from here. I already used my bonus action. Um, yeah, I don't think I can do anything from right here. So I'm just gonna use um some more words and point at the seer lady and be like hey uh hot witch lady stop <laughs> and that's it Ben, i'm going to fireball them um <gasps> and say sorry Valvin, you moved there that's your fault <laughs> you're gonna fireball my sister <laughs> yeah she's not gonna die she's probably fine <laughs> She's probably fine. Um, Non-lethal fire. This is, <laughs> this is gonna be interesting. Okay. Um, I'm going to, and I look at Bryn and I say, "I'm sorry, but this must be done." And at one time, remember that one time you fireballed my sister You'll and Valkan. She would not. Uh, Where is your fireball being centered? Um. On Gertie, maybe? Right on Gerd? Okay. That's really right on my sister. <laughs> or like, I don't, I guess, I want all four of them to be involved and like maybe Miss Falcon, but if he gets hit, like I'm not mad about it kind of <laughs> vibe because he moved there. <laughs> it's like the always sunny music plays, the gang kills Bryn's sister. I'm just gonna put it on. I'm just gonna put it on her unless you tell me otherwise. So, the fire what around Valcan will be Ryan? will be sad faces. I'm fine. I'm a monk. I have a thing for this. Yeah. Okay. Then yeah, that that's perfect because it gets everybody involved. Okay. Um, I think you could not get him if you have the range though, by just moving it like one more away from him. Facts. Yeah, but like, I kind of want to hit him, but like, okay, fine. We can, we can go down one. You fine. tell me where you Continue. want it. <laughs> no, no, Bring we can go hate. down one. We can go down one. You want to go here? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Originally, I, oh. I wanted to get the other guy involved, but okay. What other well, guy? Do it. That's what guard? you want. No, no, you it's can fine. Do it. You can get everybody in it if, if that's what you want. You can get all kinds of people in this. I mean, that like. is what I That guy do is it. my control, though. These two He's, are. That he, he is, is my, my what happens control. if he gets that's hit? True. He's probably going to die. Does he get... Does he get <laughs> oh, okay, I, I don't want to kill him. Okay. Um, do the option where Valken does not get hit. Falcon does not get hit. Yeah. Aww. So there. Oh, wait, hold on. Just, just a, <laughs> I want to use that thing. Hit, not though. getting hit. Okay. Well, okay. Oh, sad. I, okay. I'll let, <laughs> if hit or no hit, hit Falcon, special, and then we're gonna it's gonna go off. Okay. Bring the heat. So I have Bring one, it. two, three, four. I have five, so I, I need to roll um it another time. Let me go. Right. Falcon says get hit, so you're getting hit. <laughs> Listen, you approved Holy of this shit. message. I can't. That's why I asked how much health oh, you have. <laughs> okay, hold on. Let me get my calculator because this is just silly fun. fireball thinking they're going to hurt me. I mean, I have the lowest amount of health here as far as like max goes. So I think I'm sure you guys are fine. <laughs> I'm sure yeah, so you guys five, are right. And then it's eight. So Shit's fucking two. dark. One more. <laughs> so let's do that. Is 
Oh no, it redid it. Hold on, I think it was this. Uh, okay, 23. 23 total. <clears throat> yeah, my okay. calculator reset. So, but I'm pretty I sure it was. 15. Falcon, make a dexterity oh, saving yeah. throw. Uh huh. <laughs> Bunch of. Why do you say that so sure now? Uh. Dexterity save? Yes. Seven plus six is that uh, 13? That fails. You take 23 half. fire damage. I still half take half. Because I have evasion. Um, there you go. So that is 11. You take 11 fire damage. Mm -hmm. The Berserker rolls a dexterity saving throw and fails and takes 23 fire damage to the face. He's looking rough and is no longer mind controlled. He's pissed. Um, Gerd. Oh boy. Gerdy lives. Um, gets a 13 and fails. Oh, 23? No. 23, yeah. She is looking very bad. Uh, burning a lot. This Gothi here, who we don't know, is also looking real bad. Um, the seer. Also looking bad. Yeah, she heals quick. And uh, then I yell, I say, step away from the runes. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, is that the end of your turn? Yeah, it will be. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Listen, they should have stepped away from the runes. I just want to picture this moment you, as like. You're supposed to roll, yell that before. I, mm, mm. I, I picture this moment as Valkan pointing and saying, "Hey, hot lady, stop!" And then as that happens, boom, a fireball just comes down. <laughs> After the wall of fire, also it's like ah! a lot of pyro. I just really like fire. Okay. No, I'm into it. <laughs> um. Next, the gothy. Um. Says no, no, and just looks and says, "How could you? How could you do this?" And the 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 walls begin to just light, ignite. And the rafters are starting to get hot from fire. Um, and he says, "We have to, we have to get out of here." And um, is going to cast cure wounds on himself. And heals a little bit. And he takes, uh, and starts moving this way. And just says, Good, we have to go. We have to go. They'll kill us. And, um, he, um, opens the door and just waits, um, for Gerd. Sargento, a lot of shit's happened. Um, this place is lit up. This whole um, area in in this general region um, is is very much burnt on fire. <clears throat> yeah, people are so screaming. Uh, <laughs> These guys are um, asleep. <laughs> yeah, there's there's a lot there's a lot happening. All all these fellas over here are asleep. On the on the lower right, all all those all those They're guys. They're sleep, are sleep, yeah. Um. All right. So I don't really know. I don't really know what's happening in terms of uh, whether or not this fight is still happening, or if we're we're just gonna tuck, tuck tail and run. So I'm gonna scooch a little bit closer to the fella that's been hitting Bryn. Uh huh. Uh, and I'm gonna hold an action. I'm gonna hold. Uh, actually, no, I can't do that. If I do that, I'll lose my rage. Um. Let's see. I'm sorry. Is it is it this guy's been hitting? Uh, the Thane is is the one in front of Ron. She moved away from the Thane. <clears throat> oh, I got you. I got you. I got you. Um, the Thane. And now is that is that the guy on the table? Yeah, Beardman. Okay. Um, man, there's a lot happening. Um, 
does he still can can I get any sort of vibe on to whether or not he's with this new information of the place being on fire, is he still fighting or is he about ready to run? You're just going to have to see when his turn comes around because all uh, this is happening simultaneously in the round. So That's what I was afraid of. All right, I'm just going <laughs> to hop on the table and take a uh, take a strike at him. Take two attacks at him. Okay. Go ahead and move where you'd like to be. All right, sorry. Uh, that is best I can tell right there, right? Get him, Sargento. Poke him with your mustache. <laughs> is it hold control and move? You can just wasdy. Oh. Yeah, I forget about that every time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I always forget oh, too. Wow. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that, that makes things different. Uh, all right, so yeah, I'm just going to take two uh, great sword attacks on that fella. Okay. And that's the thing, right? Mm hmm. First one. Oh, very nice. That is. Uh, I don't know if I said great sword or great axe. I meant great axe. That's going to be 25 to hit. Oh, yeah, that definitely hits him. <clears throat> um, non, non-lethal. Is it too late to say that? No, it's not. Okay. Uh, he'll. I'll, I'll go for, like, appendages. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> all right, 1d12 plus 4. Well, that's pretty low. 5 plus the 2 for rages. That's 7 on the first one. Okay. And then another great axe attack is uh, 18 to hit. 18 um normally you see it get past his shield like you're going to hit him he's gonna use his reaction to parry and as your great axe comes down you see his battle axe hook yours and pull it out of the way at the last minute you son of a bitch well, he has maneuvers <clears throat> I can't see it. he doesn't need my magic he has maneuvers what a dick <laughs> <laughs> anything else you'd like to do uh i don't think i got nothing else but I get to hold on to my rage. So that's all well and good with me. Yeah, it's the end of my turn. Okay. Up next. Um. Asleep. <laughs> <laughs> asleep. Asleep. Nice. nice. <laughs> it was a high well, level I'll... sleep spell, and there were some damn good rolls. <laughs> Um, the Thane, he looks at the carnage behind him as he sees the fireball erupt and people are scorched and in, in the lost hall um, is seemingly now on fire. And he looks at you, Ron, and he just like gets close to you and is shouting like at you and at Bryn and at Vin. And he just says, his eyes just look just horrified. And he says, what kind of what kind of heroes are you? You would kill us over this? You would kill us all. You'd burn our our homes. You're no better than the monster that you say that you would defeat. And he is going to um move around you. He's going to take the uh, attack of opportunity from um Sargento, if you'd like. Bada bing. <clears throat> 18 to hit. Yep. And 1d12. That's going to be 16 points of bludgeoning damage. Okay. Whoa. Nice. Very nice. Still kicking. He's a hearty gentleman. Yeah, but he's going to feel that one in the morning. He is going to try and shove you, Bryn. Um, and 20. Teed hit, and that's your AC now, right? Because of the warding right. bond. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yes. Mm-hmm. That's eight bludgeon damage. So four to you each, and then make a strength saving throw, Bryn. Twenty-one. <clears throat> yeah, you save. You can't shove you down, and he just comes around and kind of sweeps around Ron. Um, I don't know, just like a swim move around you and like kind of does some fast footwork and uh, and just tries to shove you, Bryn, and he says, stop this madness, you can stop this anytime. They're trying to kill us. And that is 22 to hit you. Me? Mm-hmm. That's 15 total slashing, so it's half, so seven each. Please stop while I hit you more. 
I am not looking good. I know, right? Like, he... <clears throat> we've been asking him to stop this whole time, and he's now asking us to stop because we hit a so, little too hard. Case in point, they're trying to subdue you. They're trying to, to knock you out, essentially. So Subdue. that's that's why he's so horrified. Because Yeah, there's only yeah. one person here using lethal damage. I just want to point um, that out. <laughs> so seven oh, each. I have. Um, and then um, third attack is a 25. Thirteen, so six each. <clears throat> For us? Oh, God. Wait for oh, me. real bad. It's between you and Ron. You're both taking it. Yep. Yep. If he hadn't been taking this, I'd have been d long dead. <laughs> long Ron, dead. Ron protect. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Ron. <laughs> All right. Um, that's his turn. Up next is this, this is berserker, rough. and he just yells at you, Br at Vin. <laughs> And he just like is just rage and his eyes are like bulging. You can see like the blood vessels in his eyes and he just goes all out recklessly attacking you. Um, and he gets a 19 to hit you. Mm -hmm. Miss. <laughs> maybe not, maybe not Vin. Um, oh, he's saying Vin, I thought he was hitting me. No, Sorry. Vin. Uh, uh, but I do want to impose disadvantage on him. Okay. Um, so it was a 19. Um, Wait, uh, I need second. to check if it's she needs to be next to me. It might be she needs to be next to me. Yeah, Either way, never his mind. I can't, I can't do it. So. so you take 11 slashing damage, Vin. Okay. And then I would like to use my um, uh, gem dragon yep. trait. He makes a wisdom saving throw, right? And he gets a, a strength saving throw. A strength saving throw. He gets a 15. It might. The DC is a 16. Um, Ooh. so he it works. <clears throat> cool. So that means he gets pushed 10 feet from me. Okay. And then takes 2d8 cool. force damage. Yeah. Six. Six damage. And then you said I take 11. Is that what yes. you said? How much health do you have? 11? No, I'm good. I, am, <laughs> I have plenty of health. <laughs> All right, up next scared is this for a second berserker there. and oh, just no, no, no. charges at you, um, Valken, to protect uh, the people that are behind him that took the brunt of the fireball, which they all kind of did. Um, and he's going to roll uh, Reckless at I you. I did too. What's that? <laughs> but I did too. Yeah. And he gets a 23 thanks to Reckless. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and you take seven slashing damage. Um, and y'all, I'm just going to add something to remind me they attacked recklessly so I don't forget. Does that mean we get a vantage if we attack them? Yes. Okay. Yep. Just like the old barbarian stuff. <clears throat> Ron. All right. Ron is going to lay on hands to Bryn for 40 hit points. Wait, <laughs> how many? 40. The Holy. whole the whole pool. What? Oh Dang. my god. And then Ron's gonna look at the thing and he's like, you have the power to stop this. We are only defending ourselves as you decided to attack us instead of letting us leave freely. But we weren't going to kill. Nor are we. Well, maybe, he except for Vin. <laughs> I'm not killing anybody, they're hurt. <laughs> All right. That's my turn. Uh, next is this um, shield guard. Um, and he just shouts, Attack her before she can finish us off! Runs at you, Vin. I just feel like they're not hearing us when we say stop. <laughs> I mean, you got to think about it. They were, even though they're attacks and stuff, they were trying to do non-lethal and subdue you all. Yeah. Um, 
you rained a fireball in the corner, nearly killing two of them. Yeah, um, fireball sends a bit of a message. So, I don't know if you figured that out it's yet. The but the tavern, the dynamics have changed. The the runes. <laughs> it's the bar fight all over again. Really the dynamics is. have changed. It really is. What was that like? Episode one as well. Like, come on. Um, Fire that's a, sorcerer. That's a, what do you? Mean? Twenty to hit you, Vin. We need to take and you to like the mountains where it's very icy and cold. Like, where nothing burns. Vin, you take six damage. How much? Six. Six damage. Got mm -hmm. it. All right. Let's see. It is the seer's turn. What is she going to do? <clears throat> I paid her a compliment, so. <laughs> what did you say exactly? You? I said, hey, her a hot lady. lady. Hot uh, witch lady, please Hot stop. Witch lady, these people don't like the term witch, so I'm pretty sure you insulted her. And then oh. she got set on fire, so you maybe cursed her. <laughs> but <laughs> I think true. that was a pun, and that's like ten out of ten right there. So I'm here for it. <laughs> she is going to cast a spell. <laughs> what if she just casts fireball right back at us you know she can call the ice from the sky so <clears throat> oh that's right we do know that Oosh. this is about to get interesting let's see next time we level I'm gonna take some non-lethal spell <laughs> <laughs> I mean, might be a good idea. Okay. Um, is a she funny one. is going to cast a spell um, known as Wind Wall. Uh oh. Mm. It's a good spell. Is that like the firewall, but wind? Oh no. Oh, yeah, we're not going to be able to get to them. She casts a, a wind wall here, essentially um, <laughs> blocking off um, that area. <clears throat> Let's see. And it's 50 feet long, 15 feet high and a foot thick. Um, each creature within its area must make a strength saving throw. So no one's in the area of the wind wall. <clears throat> And you can see that a lot of like anything that's like not like bolted down, like loose, just like um, anything on the table that, you know, things just, just start blowing um, outward from it. <clears throat> hmm. All right. And that's what she does. Um, this warrior is Excellently made that. My bad. Is is it's looking still mind controlled, right? He's mind controlled, and he gets up to this wall. Um, and he stands there, and he's he looks back at Sargento, and he's like, "I can't, I can't get through this. I'll I'll die. <clears throat> what do I do? I cannot stop them." <clears throat> Rin. How bad does Gerd look? When you, before the wind wall went up, um, she was fucked up. Bad. Near death, along with her and the other um, person. And now you guys can't see what they're doing. I don't believe. We can't see through it at all. Is it? Yeah, we can't see through it. I'm trying to make. It. I'm trying to read. I don't think that's the case. And then, second question: Can spells with range go through the wind wall? Um, no, you can still see through it. Um, it doesn't. It doesn't. Um, keep magic through as far as you would know. It doesn't. You have to see. Okay. All right. <clears throat> we got some ideas. Rin, it's your turn. OK. 
Okay, I'm going to move this way. I will take an attack of opportunity from dude. Uh, a Thane, and he yeah. misses you. <clears throat> Never get this to work when I need it to. Where do you want to go, Olivia? Right up to the wall. Just ping it. Let me know where. Figured. I just need to figure out the math. Uh huh. I'm just gonna yell. Uh. Gerd, no, we didn't mean for any of this to happen. We don't wish to hurt anyone. And then I'm going to run over there and I'm going to cast. I'm so bad right now. I'm gonna cast Wither and Bloom on the other side of the wall if I can. Uh, I think you can see through it. Okay. And I'm going to cast it so that the only person that gets hit is Gerd and that she takes healing, not damage. OK. What would you like to heal her for? So she gets to roll an unspent hit die and regain that plus my modifier, which is four. So she gets four plus whatever. Her, All right. Four whatever plus, she rolls on her hit die four plus four. So she gets eight. Okay. Looking a little better. <clears throat> and I just want to be like, Please stop. We don't have to do this. She just looks as this wind is whipping around you all. And she's like, I I was conflicted, but after seeing this, why? Why would you do this to us? We're just trying to do what is right. You don't even like having your power. You resented everyone who who revered you for it. It is not true. I will give him the power now if everyone will stop this madness. All right. Is that what, yeah. is that what you want to say to her? I promise my party will Girl, let that happen, but. We don't need this to happen. Um, Gerd's turn. Um, and she believes you. She's your sister. And she says, everyone, stop. Stop fighting. Stop. She's going to go through with the ritual. Up next. Let's see. This gentleman um, is going to hold an action, but doesn't do anything. You see him hold behind his shield, and he hears her um, and just waits and looks to his thane. Falcon. <clears throat> um, okay. That could turn. Um,. Is Berserker Man off his rocker in front of me still? Is he like frothing at the mouth? He's upset because <laughs> of the fireball. He's he's I mean, but you're not sure what's going on now after this new development happened. It's all happening in, at the same time. Um, I just uh, I just look at him and and uh, um start wiping it off and be like you got it too huh and I'm just gonna hold a dodge action or I'm um, take a dodge action okay Vin okay I do not want any of this to happen because it's not worth it um so can I hold a big spell to ha yeah. like to fire if something happens. Okay. Yeah. I it'll wanna... it'll you just use your concentration and then basically let's say that you wanted to hold a first level spell. You hold it and then if your turn comes all the way back around and your trigger doesn't happen, you lose that slot. You basically cast it and hold it. Okay. Um 
I want to hold Wall of Fire in a circular or just around that third rune so that no one can get to it. Um, <laughs> because I don't trust that Gothi is going to not go for it. Um, so if mm -hmm. he runs to it, I want Wall of Fire to trigger so that yeah. it, so he can't <clears throat> basically activate. And it'll, it'll be a circle around the rune. And the okay. damage you're will just, be inside of the rune, not yeah, on the outside. You're just holding it, yeah. Yeah. And then I would like to use my Fey uh, to Misty Step away mm -hmm. from this dude. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Good call. That guy okay. hates you. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, we'll go this way. Um, and then I would... Wait, actually. Hold on. Where was I before? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Okay, so I'll go here and then use my my speed to... So that that was my um, Misty step. And then uh -huh. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Okay. Um, okay. And then I yell... <laughs> I was like, you go for that rune, you get torched or something like that. All right. Um, and I yell, just stop. We don't want to fight. I I don't want to hurt anybody. And then, yeah. <laughs> Next is the other Gothi, and he looks at, um, at Gerd, and she puts her hand out and just shakes her head. And he waits, holds his action. Sargento. All right, <clears throat> so <laughs> um, I've got forty feet of movement. Can yeah. I make it? Do, 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 like, is it going to take? Is that table considered rough terrain, or can I make it over it? You're fine. Um, all right, so I'm gonna move uh, thirty-five feet to right here, uh -huh. <clears throat> and then I'm gonna look over toward Bren, and I'm gonna say, anybody who wants power that bad got no business having it and then i'm going to um this as part of my as part of my rage as part of the uh, wild surge i can actually do this every turn so i'm going to teleport 30 feet across the wind wall okay and right here in front of this rune so that way anybody who wants to get to it's got to go through me Okay. And I'm going to hold an attack <laughs> for if they do. Sounds good. Um, <clears throat> these ladies and gentlemen over here are very much asleep. Uh, <laughs> on I the also, floor. Can, can I specify that specifically if like Gothi or like a bad guy goes for the rune that... Yeah, that's fine. Um, I, I assume that's what you meant, off. so... Okay, yeah, yeah. We're okay, yeah, we're okay with that. I wouldn't <laughs> I think that it, it would go off like, now. Like, first yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck you, Sargento! <laughs> That is not what I want. See you in hell. <laughs> Anybody that wants power of the <laughs> <laughs> That doesn't look and like a villain. No. The thing oh, kind of awful. looks over his shield and, and looks over to Bryn, just kind of breathing heavily and like wipes some blood from his mouth. I hold you to your word. And he holds his action. <clears throat> The Berserker stand next to his Thane, holds his action. This Berserker holds his action. Ron, yeah. what do you do? I'm, I'm sorry, just as a point of order, that fellow would have had an attack of opportunity against me. Did he not take it? No, they're not taking it. Right. <laughs> Ron stands down, but uh, takes a dodge action, but speaks. You see the power we wield. What makes you think you can destroy the beast without us? And he, well, we'll figure out what it says to you here in a second. We got other turns to do. <clears throat> um, he stands next to his Thane and holds his action. The seer looks over at you Sargento and it's it's almost kind of creepy like she just like looks over her shoulder and you can see like just the black kind of like um just pigment across her eyes and then like the the grayish blue and like looks and just like looks at you like up and down and then just sort of like straightens up and like straightens out her her garments and then 
holds her action. <clears throat> this warrior looks to to you, um, Sargento, for for orders. He's standing down <laughs> at the this moment. Guy. <clears throat> He's so Stand confused. Down. He's standing down for the moment. Um, <laughs> Bryn, it is up to you. It's your turn. And uh, I believe this is an entire round now we've gone through, so uh, okay. I'll, I'll ask I will... everyone standing down. So for now, I'm going to keep the initiative numbers to avoid rerolling a bunch of shit. But as of right now, y'all are out of combat and we'll see how this plays out. So... I'm going to turn and point my axe at the Thane. <clears throat> and I'm going to say, let my friends go. Once they are safely outside city, you have a deal. And then I'm going to and then I'll drop the axe on the ground. Bran. He says, of course, they will not be held here. After your power transferred to me they are free to leave they are free to join us in great battle against this beast if they so choose because that is my That's first order of funny. business <clears throat> uh, Vin's mad but no one can hear her I think <laughs> okay I didn't know if she was trying to say something or not huh? oh um can we freely talk yeah you're out of initiative at this point Bryn puts her axe down and in, the, in their sort of why won't you just let us fight with you and you can take literally all the credit? Why do you need Bryn's power? It is the prophecy. We have discussed this. Oh my yeah, goodness. but it, the prophecy, I just don't understand. Like, it's stupid. Like, what if we are the prophecy? Like, you, we are the power. I told you. These people are stupid. They cannot <sighs> be reasoned with. They care only for their stupid religion, their prophecies. We never should have come here. And you want to give him power, though, Bryn. It's not a good idea. Don't do it. These people could not even defeat us and tremble in fear and Vin's power. What makes you think they could take the beast? Yeah, I could just we'll kill you We'll not let right anyone now. else die for me to keep my power. That is how not the price I will pay. Die? How many people are going to die because you ain't got them powers? I've seen what you do. I do not need them. I will find other ways. Them. This is true. Bryn. But that is not the conversation we are having. It's a reason. He's not a good person. Thane looks over to you and, and he starts walking over to you, Bryn. Um, if this is to be done, then we shall do it now. I'm like, don't. I mean, there's a wind wall. I can't. <laughs> I mean, he's just talking at you for the moment, just seeing if you're agreeing to it. <clears throat> I'm not disagreeing. I don't look happy, though. So move. All right. Um, so he, uh, the seer drops the wind wall and invites you to stand um, next to her. I, no, he has to let my friends go first. I don't trust him. They are, free to, they are free to leave. They are free to walk out of this place. They are free to stand wherever they'd like, as long as they don't interfere. I mean, I might interfere. You can't let this happen, Bryn. We can't let this happen. There has the to thing be another way. looks to you, Ron, and he hears Vin saying as well, and he goes, It is not your choice to make, outsider. She has chosen. Who are you to say what she does with her powers? She hasn't Family. chosen. You forced her to choose. You're forcing her into this. Why can't we just help you? Like all of us plus you and your men. This like I it's so clear. I don't understand. It's not your choice to make. If it is to be done, then we do it now. Great. Is the building still on fire? Oh yeah. It's it's kind of burning up at this point, but uh they're working Are the on it. Are the ruins burning up? Can the ruins burn up? Yeah, and imagine just other people are out there putting the fire out at a uh, within a couple minutes, but... Bryn. It was one of those situations where um, things were lighting up. It lasted a round or so, 
and then they're actively working on it so it's not going to burn down in a turn or so but more of a narrative effect of what was happening it wasn't an immediate danger of sending the building down but <clears throat> um i'm gonna walk over to my sister and make sure she and gird are you okay and i did not mean for you to get caught up wiping. in this so it's, i am all right i knew that this might be dangerous i just didn't understand how dangerous it would be i but believe not in be this here. i'm sorry Never mind. What did you say? And to then her? I'll just, I just said you should not even be here. And then I'm just gonna, I guess, step right here. Is that the spot? God, this is so stupid. Okay. Ron's <laughs> gonna walk up to Bryn and offer his hand. This is Bryn. We can just walk away. They cannot stop us, no matter how they try. We can just leave this place. Ron will forget the beast vengeance as long as you just come with us. We could return to Tustin and help people. Your mission. It's not going to let us leave, Ron. Like I said, Ron said, they cannot stop us. They know this. And giving your power to the Thane would only bring ruin to this country. Yes. I'm not going to fight them anymore. I walk up to the fella that's still under my control. And I, <laughs> that one guy. <laughs> I, I whisper, restrain the thing. Right now. Stealthily. <laughs> I am going to invoke the portion of um of that of your item of um being commanded to do something contrary okay. to its nature okay. because he fine. knows if he throws blows at the thane he's it's not gonna be oh that's, my that's bad you're in trouble fair. he's that's gonna be killed <laughs> all right Can't that's a good fair. idea but yeah. it's one of those things where idea. Yeah, it's like, hey, yeah, go no, go arrest your king. Okay. <laughs> Absolutely. <fair. laughs> yeah, so. I thought about it, though. <laughs> All right, so the seer looks to you. Brennan says, are we to begin? We can walk. Uh, I'll just say one last thing to my friends. This is none of your business. You are outsiders here. They do not understand. And then I'm going to turn it back to them. <gasps> Shit. I just okay. broke Ron's heart. I just saw it. I just saw it happen. Is um, this the thing right here? Yep. Yeah. How is he looking health wise? He's busted up a little bit. <clears throat> what what about the seer? How's she looking health wise? Um, pretty damn good. Okay. And um And Gothi just the Gothi just healed, right? Yep. The so seer only points one to that's near death is my fucking sister. The Gothi and says, Ingvar, take your place, please. And she motions to him over to the room. <clears throat> which is what this was for. And um He's going to walk over to the rune to start the ritual. Nope. Ron's not going to let it happen. We all know what's going to happen. No. Nope. My wall of fire activates. So that's um that's up to you all if Ew, you want to go fire. against Bryn's wishes. So. Yeah, I can't tell you what to do. So, I mean, I already told you. Bryn made her decision. Oh, nope. Ron can't do it. Yeah, I can't. I can't let it happen. I just can't. So, my, yeah, my wall of fire activates. They're not going to kill me. No. I yeah, wouldn't. but no. it's 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 you, though. <clears throat> like, it's not. I am not my power. 
Bryn. This Bryn understands true. that. Yeah, but this asshole don't need it. And I rage again, and I yeah. take a great axe swipe at the thing. <laughs> That's exactly. Okay. I agree with Sargento, and I I nod, and I'm just like, he doesn't need it. Like he's he's going to do bad things with your power. Okay. Wall of fire goes around this rune. This is nuts. Man, y'all are. This is just. Y'all are the bad guys. <laughs> Listen, they, uh, um, <clears throat> we're trying to we're work the with bad them. Guys. You're killing innocent people. Misguided, but innocent. A wall of fire goes over that um um area. So go ahead and um, roll your damage. Five d eight fire damage. <clears throat> I was playing with them. Where did they go? Fire damage. I'm so I'm like a guest on this show, but I very strongly feel like I want to like, like whack this dude. So I, I don't want to like do go against the party. Do you feel, no, do you feel, if, if I were to not go against the party, I would, we would just murder everybody and leave. So I would say this, the you party know. has become good friends, but for example, I haven't said anything as Valken because it's not my culture. I don't know what's going on. So I've been letting things play out. So do what you feel your character would do. If you're not intentionally being an asshole, then it's OK. Listen, All right, so I'm not intentionally being an asshole. <laughs> what's your, I'm just uh, talking about you. I feel like, like he was aiming at me. No, I was talking what's to the Sarge I was telling Sargento to mustache his way to whatever he sees fit. <laughs> And I don't believe there's a save. I mean, there might be. Uh, Let me check. No, is it just me like two or just the gothi? She said right around the. Well, actually, the <clears throat> when the wall appears, each creature within its area must make a dexterity saving throw. On a failed save, a creature takes five date fire damage or he half fails. as much on a successful one. He fails and you kill him outright. Oh, shit. <clears throat> The well. wall of fire erupts around the rune directly and burns up when you hear him scream and you see Gerd fall to her knees and just Could shouts. Could I not have pushed him out of the way or something? Like there's nothing I could do? No, not in that instance. She was holding her action to do that, so. And he falls, Gerd falls to her knees and just, no, and just starts tears to start streaming down her face. Um. Make your attack if you're going to, Sargento. Okay. Uh, I know. What, is it hand off the piece? Because, like, I would like to see what the other people are, like, what the other people in the party are. Like, if, basically, I'm following Ron's lead. If you're, okay, so we'll let your hold action. Yeah. Go. Um, and so the Thane looks and says, apprehend her. She cannot be trusted. And the people that are here begin to go after Vin. And um. it's kind of a standoff right here. Um, in that the people around the circle are staying. And it's one of those things where like, go ahead and skin that smoke wagon kind of scenario. <laughs> um, waiting for something to happen. <laughs> That's a tombstone reference. <laughs> I've not seen that. Go ahead. I, I, Go ahead and skin that smoke wagon and see what happens. Come on. Anyway. Yeah, gotcha. Gotcha. Totally different type of game. But I was very alarmed with. It means <laughs> um, see what happens if you draw that six shooter, sir. Gotcha. Uh, or AKA fuck around and find around out. And find out. <laughs> <laughs> so there is a very uneasy oh, um, shit. thing like happening here. Um, and the Thane realizes that no one else has done anything and is going to try and solve this problem. Um, so I'm going to ask, is anyone else doing anything or is this a Vin in an, uh, in a guard problem at this point? <laughs> my, my axe is like, I'm primed, but I'm not swinging yet. 
I would like to plead with Vin. Can I do that? That's up to you. You and Vin, you can decide. Ron is gonna <clears throat> gently persuade Gerd to get off the rune uh, with a persuasion check. This is something that you wouldn't be able to persuade her to do just because her and Bryn have decided that this is what they want to happen. Okay. This is something that's so deep-seated in her culture and her religion, and knowing that her sister wants to do it, um, doing a persuasion roll for someone that doesn't know, so or agreeing to do it, yeah. That's one yeah. of those things that you, saying a few words wouldn't, wouldn't make her not want to do it, especially after what happened now. I'm gonna. This is hardly consensual. I mean, yeah, yeah. Hardly, hardly, agreed, agreed to do it. Really rest. want to do this, Bryn? Could I don't know. I'm first. thinking maybe I'm gonna multi-class in the monk if I lose my spell casting. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> I can jump on top of things too. Apparently, everybody in this building can. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I don't know. Yeah. Maybe I'll. Uh, Praise Sylvanas. Who knows what will happen if, if this happens? You know what I mean? This All right. Not the end. So we're at a standoff now. Um, are are you going to say some words to Vin or is this something that, that Vin and the guards are going to work out? <clears throat> no, I, I don't want to say anything to Vin. I okay. actually so I've turned my back on them, but I'm hearing that they're trying to fight. So I'm going to turn around and look Ron in the eyes. Look kind of slightly upwards to Ron in the eyes. <clears throat> Ron, please get Vin out of here. This does not end well. I don't want any more innocent people to die. Check your heart. You do not want any innocent people to die. They know not what they do. <laughs> Damn it, Bryn. Oh. <laughs> I'm using, I'm, I'm pulling heavy on our best friend heartstrings to make you. Ron starts getting teary eyed. What's he to do? Just, <laughs> she just knows in his heart that this is what Bryn wants, but it just, it's like he just can't accept it. But this is wish what you truly wish. I do not wish for him to have these powers, but I do not want anyone here to die. I may not like them, but these are my people. We we will not kill them, just not make them unconscious and then we have already leave. killed one of them. This must end. <sighs> Y'all literally killed one of them! What do you want me to say? It was an accident. I mean, that's fair. I mean, but I was readying that since before he did it. So. <laughs> it was gonna trigger no matter what. <laughs> Ron just starts balling and is like, let's go. I'm, uh. We don't enough already. Before I walk out, I'm gonna walk over to Bryn and I'm gonna touch her on the shoulder. And I'm gonna say. Just in case this comes in handy. And uh, I'm going to give her bolster and magic. What is and that? So uh, for 10 minutes, the creature can roll a D3 whenever making an attack roll. Well, it's... um hmm. D3? Actually, you would roll I, a D6 and then 4, 5, and 6 oh, are equal okay, 1, 2, okay, and 3, okay. essentially. I, I, I read the wrong part of it. So uh, the creature regains one expended spell slot, the level of which equals the number rolled or lower the creature's choice. Once the creature receives the, this benefit, creature can't receive it again until it'll long rest. So, yeah. Take it, get a spell slot okay. back. Okay, cool. Just in case that comes in handy. I'm going to refill my water while Ron searches his heart. Hmm. Okay, so I'm going to go... Um, so Gento, what is, what is your intent? What are you doing now? <clears throat> Besides that? I'm going to turn around and leave. Okay. Or at least I I'm going to join. I'm going to join. I'm going to come over here to about where Falcon is. Gotcha. 
Um, Valken, what is your intent here? What are you going to do? <clears throat> you going to well, back off? You going to leave the building? It's up to you. To me, it seems like Bryn's made up her mind and I don't have the kind of relationship with her that Ron does. So if it's what she wishes, then I'm not going to do anything. I'm not going to leave the building. I'm probably just going to like did the wind blow everything off the table? Is everything on the floor? I mean, it was just for effect. Dude, there's plenty of honey cakes if you want some. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna sit on the table and snatch what's there and eat because there's also a little bit of curiosity as to what's sit gonna happen. Sit down and eat? She's like, he wants the popcorn oh, yeah. the show. That's the worst hey, we're moment not... of my life. You're just sitting there eating honey cakes. <laughs> we're not fighting. He's like the Brad Pitt show. of this campaign. He has to he eat really in every is. scene. He really this is. is. Uh... I love it so much. I mean, I, I get to see something I never thought I'd see, even if it is it, in a terrible situation. And plus, I'm, I'm not going to yeah, walk out I'm of not the building judging. and the honey cake is leave delicious. you. Okay, right. I'm going to be here watching just in case you need me. So, um, yeah. What is your intent here? What are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> Talking to the table. Sargento's with him. They're backed off. Ron takes Bryn's hands, looks down into her eyes, and Ron will be here when it is over. And if you are too weak, Ron will carry you out. Ron, I'm not going to be too weak. That's not what... Okay, I... thank you, my friend. Deal with Vin. And then Ron walks over with, the, with the rest of the group at the table. We'll arm and... wrestle everyone after this and show them. And then uh, tells Brent, I'm forbidden. Stand down and come with us. This Maybe is do the Brent's ritual wishes. with only two sages or whatever. Seers. Ben, what is your intent now? What are you doing? You have some guards I, surrounding like, you. Elbow the guy. I'm like, get <laughs> off me. Don't touch me. And I like walk over to Bryn if they'll allow it. Um, and they won't I let you get big... close to the circle, but they will let me in. hug her. Okay, that's fine. I don't care. Um, I hug, hug Bryn and <laughs> I say, I didn't mean for any of this to happen. I just wanted to protect you because you don't know what you're doing. And then, um, just kind of like give her a big embrace and then, um, go over to Ron. And then I I just hug Ron. Oh, like, damn it, Vin. I know you did not mean to kill anyone. But trust me, I know what I am doing. And then I'll turn back to the creepy hot witch seer lady that's got burnt hair right now. All right. Um, she looks um to one of the guards. Um and says, please take care of him and make the necessary arrangements and notify Ingvar's family what happened to him. And um, one of the guards that was here is going to um, take Ingvar and then um, carry him to that door and out. <clears throat> Sergento looks over to the fellas asleep on the floor and he's like, hey, a lot of help y'all were. You can wake <laughs> him up if you'd like. <laughs> nah, I'll let him sleep. Amazing. Hard. They're so cute when they're sleeping, guards. <laughs> <laughs> their little beards the intertwined. His <laughs> little foot's like. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay. So, um, the seer looks down and um pulls out some like red pigments from um like her satchel um and starts to um erase the runes as they're covered in soot um and you see her start to redraw um the runes and she steps in almost diagonal from where um your sister is and then uh re leaves the rune where, where your sister is and then combines the two 
um, runes, the one that were the where Ingvar stood and where she stood, and then combines them into where she is. Can, do I know what these runes say? Since this is my like culture. Mm-hmm. Roll an arcana check. Should have asked that way earlier, but roll an arcana check with advantage. To be honest, I kind of didn't. I kind of felt like they were talking nonsense, people. Now and now, I'm not so sure. I should figure that out beforehand. Fifteen. Yeah, you recognize, even though it's it's similar to your language, runes are very important to your culture. Uh, it's also some arcane elements to it. It essentially boils down to some sort of arcane um, sigil um, of each uh, combined, say, the power of Thruma and Elding. <clears throat> so, um, the Thane um, stands forward and stands beside you. And the seer starts to um, conjure some energy in this area. And what you see is sort of this energy starts swirling around you, coming from you, and she holds her hand uh, over your forehead. Some of the pigment um, from from the runes uh, are marked upon you, and then she also marks onto the Thane, and she says, utters some arcane um, words, um, and your vision um, goes to blackness. You are in an empty void, essentially, um, and you sort of hear rolling thunder and lightning uh, in the distance. Um, and you see, you hear the seer sort of not talk at you, but her voice echoes uh, throughout this sort of space. Um, and then you see sort of the storm roll over you and lightning striking closer and closer. And then in the final moment, the lightning strikes you. And instead of feeling pain, instead of feeling um, just immense agony from lightning um, you feel like something was taken from you you feel a piece of you missing uh, I'd like for you to roll a d4 for me <clears throat> oh. okay and tell you yes two you suffer uh, two levels of exhaustion okay um, your eyes come to um, and as your eyes come to, you see the Thane sort of jolt um, and sort of energy just come about him, electrical energy just, just emanate from him um, and his eyes sort of bulge and all every muscle in his body is tensed up um, like someone who might be being electrocuted or such. Um, and as the sort of pigment on your forehead yes. begin to glow, um, he... Um, falls down to his knees and then slowly pushes himself back up. Um, similarly exhausted um, from this sort of ritual. And Bryn, any feature that you have gained from being an elder tonight, you no longer have access to. And it just remain to be seen what happens now. And that is where we will end. Can I do our a thing first. I have evening. one last thing. Yes. Okay. Uh, clearly exhausted. I'm going to like walk over to where I left my axe on the ground where I dropped it. And I'm going to reach down and pick it up. And I want to turn back to the Thane. Point it at him again. Know this. If you use that power for evil, I will come back here and I will kill you. And then I'll leave the longhouse. He shouts in the distance as you all are leaving the longhouse and he says, We hunt the beast tomorrow. With or without you, it is your choice. Our goal is still align. That's where we're going to end tonight. 
I'm gonna fucking kill oh, him. Someday. I, I want to hate that, that guy. Oh, kill so him. That guy. I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna chop his fucking head off one day. <laughs> one step out of line and he is dead. All Ooh. right. I'm All right. Jeez. Oh, we so, were ready for you to rule this him. land. We were ready to kill him. Bryn said she'd rather die than rule this land, though. You could have given it like to she... somebody, your sister. <laughs> Just want it. Anyway, that's going to be the end of the episode tonight. Thank you so much for watching uh, or listening in the future, in the future times. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, but I'd like to go and uh, let these wonderful um, streamers talk about their stream and what they do. So uh, first up is going to be Mac and cheese, please. You have uh, the floor. Um, hi, Mac and cheese, please. Um, right now on Twitch, I'm playing um, FNAF Security Breach, so you can check that out on Mondays and Thursdays at 11.30, or just kidding, at 9.30 a.m. Pacific. <laughs> um, and then on Sundays, I uh, have Community Day, so you can hang out with us on Sunday if you want. <laughs> and that's me. <laughs> uh, all right. Also, I need to put the poll up so you all can vote for um, the MVP before I go too far. Um, as I don't think I did last time. So um, before we go any further, let's give it to Bryn. And um, too good. You all can start voting in the poll. Up next is going to be moves like Jagger from the GGN crew. <clears throat> Hello, friends. Hi. First of all, I just want to say, wow, Max, this is an incredible, amazing <laughs> episode. So many feels, emotions. Tension, uh, I don't, you know, I don't think feelings like this can be evoked in D&D, and it's good job, Max. I just want to say that. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> uh, but hi, I'm Moobs from the GGN crew. Uh, I'm one of four dudes on the channel. Um, well, right now it feels like two dudes out of four, as Nate and Mikey have kind of been MIA. Uh, well, they're not MMI, they have reasons, but uh, we're playing some Project Zomboid on Tuesdays if you want to join with me and the Classified cast, and then Wednesdays is Final Fantasy fourteen Community Day. And then I think on Thursday, Chinner's trying to finish up God of War 2018. Yeah, come on by. Hang out. Very nice. Uh, up next is going to be our buddy Virtual Spectre. VS, let everybody know what you got going on, dude. Uh, hi. Yeah, I'm Virtual Hello. Spectre. Uh, I'm going to second moves. This episode was fantastic. Uh, I'm glad that this is my first D&D campaign. It's I can't been believe it. Crazy. So we haven't ruined, uh, I'm having so ruined much the game for you. Uh, no, no, this is awesome. Um, uh, I'm a, like I said, I'm a content creator from the future. Um, we're currently primarily playing two games right now, Final Fantasy 14 and God of War. And tomorrow we're going to be doing a long day of God of War. So come on by and check it out. All right. Up next is going to be our very own Bunny Dreadful. Um, hi, who am I? I don't know. I don't know what's happening. This was not expected. Um, hi, I'm an art streamer. I haven't been able to stream a lot lately just due to some real life stuff going on, but hoping to get back into it soon rather than later. Um, if you like all the D&D art for this channel, I did all of that. And if you like D&D art, throw me a follow and come hang out. And um, thanks everyone so much for watching. And Yay. last but not least, our guest on the show, Mr. Nice DM in the prestigious... Ooh. Dungeon Master of the Secret Adventure Society, Zachy Wack. Zach, 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 Zach. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Now, um, <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, like Max said, uh, I am Zachy Wack. You can find me on Twitch uh, at twitch.tv slash Zachy Wack. Lately, we've been doing a whole lot of uh, campaign writing. We're writing a uh, campaign as a community based on a dream that somebody in the community had. So we're like pitching ideas off of each other and like writing, actually trying to write a campaign that anyone can then take and run at their own table if they so wish. Uh, I'm also pretty active on TikTok at Mr. Nice DM. Uh, I make videos about just the creative side of D&D &D and how DMs and players can work together to not be shitheads to each other and help everybody unlock their creativity in healthy ways. Um, and like Max said, I'm the DM for the Secret Adventure Society, which you can find at twitch.tv slash lockvibes every other Wednesday and on YouTube. We're actually, we are also 41 sessions into our adventure. Ooh, so, wow. Crossover campaign win. <laughs> <laughs> I, 
I don't I've, think that mine and Zach's homebrew worlds are. I, I don't think they're. It could happen. It could happen. Like, there would be bizarro. Yeah. Like, Multiverse. What if we all met up in the. What, who wants to go to a picnic in the Feywild? Just some. Crossover one shot. We all have like yeah. mushrooms and then we're in his world. Mm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Wheels are turning. <laughs> anyway, hi, I'm Max. My, mind. my channel, and we do D&D here, and um, I, I run it. This is what I do, and I love it, and I love my players. I couldn't ask for better players. I love y'all. Thank you so much for the follows, for the subs, for um, patronizing Patreon. Patreon? Patreon? Patreon. For being patrons. <laughs> Oh my god, let's do D D drugs. Wow. Back. Just kidding. <laughs> no, it's fine. That's I've put so many of those in front of you all, so I've made I up gave several. The Thane a joint, so. I know. Um, but anyway, um just follow just go to cashesandcantrips.com and just go to the, all the things and follow. It really helps us out. If you like the show, uh that's really one way that you can support is just sharing and um liking uh, the content MVP. that we make. Uh, so, um, <laughs> anyway, did I get um, that inspo? Because I'm gonna need it, y'all. No, you oh, also, yeah, um, you also, Bryn, you won the inspiration votes, um, much deserved because holy shit, you just gave up I your class essentially, everything, your subclass. Yeah. So, um, we're gonna see what in the hell that means for her, uh, in the rest of this campaign. So, very interesting. Uh, I was very interested to see what happened, and you all did not disappoint, that's for sure. So I hope you all enjoyed it, and we're going to go for the end of the night. Um, wash your hands, wear a mask, get vaccinated, uh, go pet some cute animals. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. Thank Bye. you for having me. Don't do drugs, for real, though. Don't do them. Okay. Don't do them. They're don't bad. Do real bad. Donuts. Do donuts instead. <laughs> all the donuts, yes.